wonderful kingdom kids. It is lovely to see you all again after another exciting week. Very exciting for those of you who have been back to school this week. We've been thinking of you and praying for you. Oh, how wonderful for us to be together again this fabulous Sunday morning. Now, I am sure that, as always, you guys have been doing many thrilling and exciting things this week. But we are going to start by seeing the things that I already know that you have been doing, which is some awesome prairie stuff from last week's session. So, without further ado, we are going to look at some awesome pictures of you. That's right, it is time for this week's montage of awesomeness. Here it comes. Well done, guys. That was some epic work. I can't believe how well you all joined in. I know last week's session was like a marathon, but it looks like you all got super involved and I am mega impressed. But I am sure that is not the only stuff you have been up to this week. I'm sure you've been doing lots of schoolwork, maybe doing some fun stuff with your family. So today I'd like you to communicate something you have been doing through the fine art form of mime. I know guys that we have practiced our mime a little bit before, but so hopefully you're all gonna be up in your game for some really intricate, careful mime this week of something that you have done. I will do an example mime for you. Let me search my mind for something I've done this week. Okay, you ready for this incredible mime? Here it comes. Did you get what it was? That was me reading a book, guys. I did some reading this week. Clearly this week has not been a hugely exciting week in the life of Charlotte Dove, or I would have done a more active mime. But that's what you got. I'm sure you guys will have a way better mimes for me. I will be watching intently. So get your mime ready in your brain and perform your amazing mime for me in three, two, one, go. I just oh that was so good it was like I was seeing the actual thing itself you are truly incredible you lot you're just getting better every week man your skills your skills thank you for doing that for me thank you for sharing that with me it's lovely to see a little bit of what you guys have been up to this week Now, we're about to go into our main session for this morning, so I'm going to start us off with a prayer to get us in the zone. So, guys, get ready for your prayer drill. You better be super quick. I'm feeling feeling ready to go. I'm feeling a speedy one this morning, okay? One. Too slow. Too slow. We'll try it again. One, two, three. Dear God, I just thank you that we are able to join together again this morning, Father. I thank you for the times that we have seen you moving in our weeks, Lord. And I thank you for the fact that no matter what we've done this week, Lord, you have been doing it with us. I pray that this morning we would have a really fun time and that we would learn something new about you. Four. Amen. 
That has become the only way I can say amen now, guys. This is what you've done to me. When I go to actual adult prayer meetings now, I have this, I feel the need to do an amen. I think it just makes prayer better to do that at the end. But on to this week's session. Now, you guys might remember that one of our little prayer activities last week was thinking maybe a bit about the world and thinking a bit about justice and how we can help um, people in the world. And you might remember we used uh, the Bible verse Isaiah 1, 17, and it said, learn to do good, seek justice, help the oppressed. Now, interestingly, Gary decided to do justice and injustice with the youth this week. So I thought, why not take that verse that we looked at a bit last week, and this week we're going to look at it a lot more. We're going to look really closely at the idea of justice and injustice and that verse. Learn to do good, seek justice, help the oppressed. And I thought, actually, there are some difficult words in there. Justice, oppressed, what do they mean? So I've got us another version of that verse as well that was maybe a little bit easier. And it says, learn to do good, be fair to other people. Punish those who hurt others. Okay. So that's what it's about. It's about being fair and then helping people who are being hurt or upset by other people. Now, what we are going to do first this morning is we are going to go on an adventure to learn some more about what justice means. So without further ado, come with me and we're going to go on a little voyage of discovery. Come on, come on. Okay guys, here we are at station number two, where we are going to be exploring what justice is. Now, I'm going to need you guys to join in with me on this, and to do that you are going to need some blocks. Now you could use some wooden blocks like I've got, you could use some Lego, you can use whatever you have got around your house. But you are going to need to go and find it, gather it, bring it to you, so you can Pause the video to do that now. Okay, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Okay, we are going to use our blocks in a minute to explore a little bit of what justice means and what it means for something to be just or fair. Now, fairness and justice are pretty much all about balance. Okay, so it's a balance between an action and a reaction. If I do a bad thing, I get a bad consequence or a reaction, a punishment. If I do a good thing, I get a good reaction, consequence, a reward. Okay? Now, this is how we're sort of going to explore. So it's a bit like on scales. Okay? So these are some really old school scales that we're going to use to explore this a bit. So at the moment, you can see that there's more weight on this side than on this side. Okay? So that would be when justice isn't right. Let's say this is a bad thing. I've done a bad thing. Maybe I've stolen my brother's lunch. That would be awful. Lunch is very important, but that's there. But at the moment, I've not got a punishment, so it's not balanced out, it's not just. Whereas if I put, say, this in here, boom, it's balanced the wrong way now, isn't it? So this is, if I got too much punishment, that's also not just. But if, let's say, I do, bad thing and I get the right amount of punishment and we can see that it is balanced it is fair it is just okay so we're gonna have a bit of an experiment about a think about justice so I'm gonna need you guys to do is grab your blocks and build for me a tower okay this tower is a good thing that you have done Okay, this is, here's my good thing. Let's say this good thing is me helping my mum with the washing up. Now, what would be a balanced or just reward for me to get for that good thing? Why don't you think about that for a second? We're going to build a tower, an equal, balanced, just tower next to it. Why don't you guys still want to think, what would a balanced and fair reward be for that good thing that I've done? What do you think? Let's get rid of those. Very dramatic. What about thinking about bad things? Let's say I've done a bad thing. Okay, here I'm going to build a second tower. Let's say the bad thing that I have done 
is I have refused to help my mum cook dinner. It's naughty of me. What would be a balanced and just punishment for that bad thing? Okay, and you're going to build an equal tower. Okay. Let me see if I've got a last brick. There we go. Okay. So, when we've got that balance between an action and the reaction, that is when we have justice. Okay? So that is what God is saying when he says, learn to do good, seek justice, or be fair to other people. Make sure that the balance is there, that it is fair. Okay, let's get rid of it. So that's fairness. Fairness is balance, justice is balance. But what about when there is injustice? Or when, that's, when the balance isn't right? Now, I'm going to explore this with my scales, but I want you guys to do it with your towers. So maybe build a tower, and then as we go through the different looks at justice and injustice, you can, you can make a balanced or imbalanced tower to match it. Okay? So let's start by thinking about a good thing. I have done this good thing. Maybe this good thing is uh, I've raised money for charity. Now, if I get a little reward for it, maybe that, and that reward can be a, like a, it's a good reaction. So I've raised money for charity and some money goes to charity. But what if it's not all that money? What if I've raised all that money, but not all of it is going to the good place it should be? That's injustice. We're not balanced. You can see there's a little reward. But it's not right. It's not balancing out our scales. That is injustice when the reward doesn't match the effort. But equally, what if I keep pouring in my reward and I've gone way past the right balance now, haven't I? Now I've got too much reward for my action. Maybe this is I give some money to charity and I am given a castle and many servants and a pet horse. You know, this is, there's, a, there's imbalance. That's injustice as well. When someone gets too much, more than they deserve. That's also injustice, okay? You guys can be exploring this with your towers. Maybe the, the balance tower is too tall now. But what about, okay, if we say, instead of it being a good thing, it's a bad thing. This time I have done this much bad thing. Okay, now, at the moment, I've got no punishment. I've done a really bad thing. Maybe I've kicked my friend. If I don't have a punishment, that's wrong. That's injustice, isn't it? We can see the balance is off. If I get a little punishment, the balance is still off, isn't it? I've not been punished enough for the thing that I've done. What about if we get... I'm going to try and get it to the perfect point. Oh, there we go. There you go. So at the moment, my bad, the bad thing I've done and the punishment are really even. They level out, don't they? They balance. It's just and fair. And that's um, what judges are there for and the courts. So, you know, when people go on trial in a court, if they've done a crime, the job of the judge is to make sure the punishment is balanced with the crime. It's just. It's fair. Okay. But sometimes we might find ourselves in this situation where it becomes injustice, unjust, unbalanced, unfair, where someone is punished too much for something they've done wrong. And that's, again, injustice. And injustice often happens when the people who are in charge of giving the reward or the punishment are doing it in a wrong way. Maybe instead of looking at actually what's happened, they're thinking about whether they like or don't like the person. Maybe they're thinking about whether they want to keep the reward for themselves. So when the person giving the reward or the punishment isn't thinking fairly, isn't thinking about what is needed for the person who's done the good or bad thing, 
That's when injustice happens, when they're given the wrong amount of reward or punishment. And the Bible is really clear about the fact that that is wrong. Okay? So remember our verse, it says, Learn to do good, be fair to people, punish those who hurt others. Okay? That is saying that when someone is doing a wrong thing, or when someone is being unjust, when someone is using their power to give a reward or a punishment in an unfair way that hurts people or upsets people, that is really wrong. And God says that we have a job to stand up for people, to say that injustice is wrong. And at the moment in the world, um, there are loads of people working hard to do that, to stand up and say injustice, imbalance is wrong. For people to have be rewarded differently or punished differently based on anything other than their actual actions is really, really wrong. And that is good to stand up and say, no, that's what God asks us to do, to fight against injustice. So that's that one of our jobs as Christians when we follow Jesus. Is to say no, it's to learn to do good, to seek justice and to help the oppressed. Now, me and Gary had a little bit of a chat about sometimes that maybe we have seen injustice and uh, we gave some, we've been chatting about some stories. So what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to throw you over to me and Gary when we were having our chat. But while you are watching them, I'd love you to use your bricks and your blocks again. So in each story, we tell there might be an action. So you can build your action, your, your tower. And then I want you to think about in the story, there'll be a reaction, a punishment or a reward. And using a city, I'd love you guys to use your blocks to see if you think that is balanced or imbalanced. If that is just or unjust, fair or not fair. Okay, guys, so that is your little job in this next video clip. So without further ado, I will hand you over to me and Gary. Hey, Charlotte, good to see you. You are right? I'm good. How are you, Gary? I'm good. I'm fine, thank you. Um, yeah, we, we, we welcome. And I know that you're going to use this for Kingdom Kids, and I'm using this for Delve. And yeah. just been talking about... Um, Injustice is not fair that now we're allowed outside of um, lockdown a little bit more. It's starting to rain when we had two months of, you know, lovely weather where we had to stay indoors, which is a bit annoying. It's unfair. Um, and I just, we, we said it would be good to talk about maybe what is fair uh, has been fair in our lives. Um, so if there's a story you've got that you could share and I'll share one as well. So over to you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Garrett. So, yeah, we've been thinking about what it is for things to be fair and not fair before this in, uh, in Kingdom Kids. And um, while I was thinking about what's fair and, and not fair, I thought a lot about actually when I used to work in a school. So you guys might not know, I used to work in a school. I was a teaching assistant. That was um, really good. And actually, I thought there was um, lots of things that were unjust in that school about the way people used their power. Not necessarily like teachers using their power against students, but... Um, like the power of popularity. So um, if a teacher or a teaching assistant had a, was particularly popular and had a particularly strong voice in the staff room, they could turn everyone against a new teacher. We had some new teachers who got really like pushed to the side, which was really, really sad just because um, some popular, a popular member of staff had decided they didn't like them. Mm. Same sort of thing happened um, with the kids as well. Like at, um, I'm sure some of you guys have had this experience where you've been pushed out of a group um, by a popular a popular child who's decided they don't want to play with your game or decided they are angry at you and they use that power of popularity to push you out of the picture. And I think when people use their power, be it popularity or other power, to, to take things away from someone else, um, that's a really horrible kind of injustice, I think. And that, that's a, that bothers me. And that's what I was thinking about. Um, my and just thinking about injustice but how about you Gary what about yeah you? it's really interesting because obviously you talk about school and mine is from school as well um, I've told a lot of our young people I never really uh, had a great time at school it wasn't a bad school but um, one of the incidents where I felt was just so unfair so unjust was um, when I was playing football it was probably in 
uh, the, the early years of secondary school, year seven or year eight, although it was called year one and year two when I was uh, at school. And um, I just remember I was in goal playing football and I kicked the ball out as you do and the ball went high up in the air. And uh, as it started to come down, um, the head teacher was standing at the other end of the playground with her umbrella. And um, everyone kind of watched the ball kind of like going down and then looking at her and coming down and looking at her and the ball hit her umbrella full on, which then hit her head and her head. And, and it was just like, she just screamed and shouted, who kicked that? And every child in the playground turned round and pointed their finger. It was Gary. And I, oh. and she said, come here. And she frog marched me off to the head teacher's office and um, ripped a, a shred off of me. How dare I kick the ball at her? It's so bad. And in my head, I'm like thinking, I couldn't kick that shot again if I tried a million times over. And, and I was put in detention during my lunch times. Um, I couldn't do a detention after school because I used to have to get a coach home from school, so that wasn't allowed. She wrote a letter home to my parents asking for the money for her umbrella. Oh, my word. My parents wrote back. My dad wrote back a very stern letter, and I don't think we ever did pay for the umbrella because it, it was just so unjust. It was so unfair. You know, it, it was an innocent kick of a ball, and she just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But her authority went a little bit too... So a little bit like what you just said, that... That authority yeah. takes a bit too far. And I know maybe some of you guys that are watching this in Kingdom Kids and Delve have maybe experienced that or have seen that as well. And actually sometimes as uh, us as leaders and teachers, we've got a real responsibility to try and make sure that what we do is fair um, and there isn't an injustice. Um, so, yeah, there's, that's, that's cool, Charlotte. Anything else? Or... <laughs> not, nope, I've got nothing else. Oh, that's fair enough. To say, um, but so that was, was an amazing story. And yeah. I'm I'm sorry for I'm young Gary. Gary. Yeah. All those, yeah, all young those Gary. years ago. I've had to let go of it now. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's why I sometimes shudder when I see head teachers at school. I'm going, oh, uh, especially there are things. <laughs> um things. So, so we're kind of going to finish that there, but what I would suggest is maybe the children and young people, maybe just stop now as uh, this might be a good time for you just to think about a time when you saw something that was really unjust um, uh, and it wasn't fair and you just, it really boiled your blood. It really kind of like got you, oh, that is just, oh, that's not right. So maybe as we just finish now, um, you can have a little bit of a, a chat about that and then, then you'll see me and Charlotte in Delvin kingdom kids stuff uh, lit yeah. or so so thanks charlotte great to see you and uh yeah bye kingdom kids see you delve see ya. <laughs> thanks, charlotte. see you later okay guys welcome back i hope that that was a bit of a helpful think about justice and injustice a good bit of an explore for you now, what we're going to do next is we're going to have a Bible story. It's ages since we last had one, two weeks. So that's really good that we're going to hear a story from the Bible. The one we've got this week is a parable. So that's one of the stories that Jesus told that had a meaning, that has a message behind it. And uh, I'm going to need you guys to join in in our story today with our parable. So when our guest star, Scotch Jeremy, is reading when you hear certain words you are going to need to do certain actions or sounds for me in this story there are sheep and there are goats so when you hear the word sheep i'm going to need you guys to give me a good sheep noise a good ba. and when you have a goat a goat is not a sheep so we're going to instead of going ba, we're going to go na because it's na dana sheep okay then we've got some other words that are also going to need an action. So we're going to hear the word belly. You're going to rub your belly. If you hear the word throat, you're going to do your throat. If you hear the word friends, you're going to do a hug like a lovely friend. When you hear the word clothes, you're going to do clothes. If you hear the word sick, 
I want you to flop onto the floor like a person who is sick and ill. A good flop like that, okay? And when you hear prisoner, we're going to be shaking the prison bars. So let's go through that one more time. Sheep, bah, goat, nah, belly, throat, friends, clothes, sick, and prison prisoner okay i think you guys are ready make sure you're staying on top of it staying on top of it and i'm going to intro and we're going to bring up scotch jeremy so jez up you come buddy oh hello i've missed you children for this week and i'm so excited to read you a story again it feels like a long time since we last had one together i hope you're ready to join in with the actions and here we go. Let me get my Bible. Ah, here we are. Now, Jesus wanted his disciples to know what would happen when everyone was judged at the end of time. So he told them a parable that went something like this. When the king finally appears and you see how powerful and amazing he really is, this is what will happen. He will sit on his throne and his angels will be with him. Everyone from every land will be standing there in front of him. And then, just as a shepherd knows how to separate the goats from the sheep in his flock, the king will separate all those people. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. He will say to the people on his right, You are blessed by my father, and now it's time for you to receive all the wonderful things he has for you. For he has prepared good things for you in advance from the creation of the world. For my belly was empty and you filled it. My throat was dry and you gave me water. I had no friends and you welcomed me. I needed clothes and you made sure I had something to wear. I was sick and you took care of me. I was a prisoner and you came to visit me. They will say to him, when did all this happen? When did we give you food and drink and clothes? When did we befriend you and take care of you and visit you in prison? And the king will answer, Whenever you did any of those things for anyone in need, you did them for me. Then the king will turn to the people on his left and say, You are cursed and you must leave this place and go into the fire that burns forever. The fire prepared for the devil and all his messengers. For my belly was empty and you did nothing to fill it. My throat was dry and you gave me no water. I had no friends and you ignored me. I needed clothes and you looked the other way. I was sick and you couldn't be bothered. I was a prisoner and you never visited, not once. These people will say to him, when did this happen? When were you hungry and thirsty and sick and we did not help you? When did you need clothes or friends or visitors and we let you down? And the king will answer, Whenever you failed to do those things for anyone in need, you failed to do them for me. Then the goats will go away from the king to be punished forever, but the sheep will stay with him and enjoy eternal life. Oh, Jez, that is a pretty heavy story, huh? Hey, I suppose it is quite heavy, but it's good to know, isn't it, that God makes sure that there is justice in the end. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Because sometimes we know that people get away with doing the wrong thing. Like we might think that someone's doing the wrong thing and that it's unjust, but they're not getting punished. And that feels really unfair. Eh? But actually, God sees all of it. And he promises that at the end, all justice will be done. And that, you know, if people have been mean and hurt you and they've got away with it, he sees it and he knows and if you've ever done a good thing and not been rewarded for it, God sees and he knows. And he will put everything right one day. Yeah, 
That is true, and that is very reassuring to know that even when humans, when we do justice wrong a bit, God always does it right. Aye, that's why he is God, and we are just people becoming better friends with him each week. Exactly, Jez. Thank you very much. You've always got such good insight, Jez. Ah, well, you know, I'm very wise. Well, I'll leave you to it, children. Enjoy the last bit of your session, and I'll see you next time. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Catch you next week, buddy. Whew. Well, there we go. So that is a bit of a story there from the Bible that again says how important Jesus thinks it is for us to stand up for justice for other people. You know, so it says for the least of people, we've got to make sure that the right thing happens to them, that when they're sick, they're cared for, that when they're lonely, they have friends, that when they're hungry, they're fed. That is, that is when things are all right and balanced, isn't it? when everything is how it should be. Whoa! Hey guys, it's me, future Charlotte. I'm just here to interrupt past Charlotte and add a few extra thoughts for you. Whoa! Hey. So, here I am from the future to mention the fact that actually sometimes we all mess up. Sometimes because we're human and we make mistakes, we don't get justice perfectly. So sometimes we might make a mistake and we might give someone too much punishment or too much reward and you know as long as we're trying our best that doesn't matter sometimes we make mistakes and we slip up and the fact is that God says it doesn't matter if we're not perfect because he sent someone who is so Jesus you was amazing he is perfect and he is God's perfect justice because Jesus took the punishment for all those times that we slip up and we aren't perfect and we don't get the balance right. So when Jesus died on the cross, he took all that extra punishment that we probably should have had, that we definitely should have had the amount of times we slip up. And so that's what Jesus does when he dies on the cross. He takes all that extra punishment that we should have, that would mean death, and he took that himself on the cross so that the scales were balanced, but we didn't pay all that price. Now, that doesn't mean we don't try to get it right. We do. We try and make sure that we are, like God says, always making sure there is justice for other people. We're meant to, we're trying to always make sure that we keep things fair and just. But because of Jesus, you know, we're covered even when we mess up. And that is really, really important. And it's also really important that God loves us all the same. He treasures each one of us. So as much as it, we definitely super important that we make sure that we are making um, putting justice in place for other people. But God also cares if there's injustice for you as well. So if someone um, gives you too much punishment or too much, well, God cares about that too. So while you're looking out for other people, making sure they have justice, look out for yourself too. If you think there's been injustice done to you, you can always talk to your parents, to your adults, to some of us leaders at the church. You know, there are always people who care and who are listening and God cares and he's listening to and watching. He sees and he cares about it all. Now, thank you for letting me to interrupt from the future. What we're going to do here in the future bubble is we're just going to spend 30 seconds really quietly talking to God, maybe about mom things that we can, we, moments we've seen injustice and how we can stop that happening in the future, what we can do to stand up for justice and to look after people to make sure that they're treated right. And you can also think maybe about moments where you've felt injustice in your life and how that felt and maybe ask, ask God to help you, help you deal with that and to, to take that, lift that weight from you and to, to help you in the future. So we're just going to spend 30 seconds on that, okay? So just be quiet. Maybe we'll even have some chill music for 30 seconds. But just take a little bit of a moment now to think about how you can bring justice and maybe sometimes when it's been really hard and you've had to deal with injustice as well. Because God cares and so do we at the church. Okay, let's take a moment to reflect.
Okay, really good job, guys. Now, I'm gonna pass you back to past Charlotte for a moment, because she is prepped and ready to do your one minute move with you. And I'm not gonna do it a second time here in the future. So go back to the past, go, go. We've got something else important to do. You know what it is. It is time for our one minute move. Now, this week's one I have been planning. Okay, this week, what we're gonna do is this, okay? You're gonna lie on the floor and then you're gonna lean up to match your elbow with your knee. And then you're gonna go back down. And then the next elbow and knee together. And then back down. And then elbow and knee together. And we're gonna do that for one minute. It is because it's an on the floor one. It's gonna be one where you're just gonna hear my voice and maybe see my knee. But that's fine. You guys can do it. You don't need to look at my face and my little red face while I'm doing my exercise. But are you ready? Here we go. One minute move starts now. Ooh. I hope you've all had a good week and that you are doing your best at school. That it's not been too much work for you at school. That you've had some good times with your family. Ooh. I wonder if anyone's learned any good new words from school this week. Maybe on your spellings. I like learning new words. Words are cool. Oh gosh, this is difficult. Are you still doing PE lessons at school? Does that still happen? Do you do your dry works in the morning? Oh my goodness, a minute is too long. I have to do this one. Okay. Keep going, guys. I believe in you. Get those elbows on those knees. Last 10 seconds. Oh gosh. Okay. Last one. Uh, okay. Well done everyone. Well done. And we're back. Everything's fine. Okay. Woo. Well done you cool kids. Welcome back to the future. I hope you're all feeling pumped after your one minute move. I'm just gonna finish off our session now with a prayer. So, prayer drill ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Father God, we thank you that you are just, that you care about every little moment of injustice in our lives and in the lives of everyone else. We thank you that you love everyone the same and that you want the same justice for everyone and that you promise that one day that justice will be done. Please help us this week to bring justice to others and um, keep us safe from injustice ourselves, Lord. Just uh, help us learn more about you and to have a really fun week this week. Four. Amen. Oh, thank you for joining me this morning, guys. I know it's um, a really big idea to get your head around justice and there's a lot of thoughts in there, but it's a really important idea, so I'm really good job for sticking with it and thinking it through. Now, it's a good thing to talk to your family about as well, so you can chat with them about this after the session, but there will also be our normal worship playlist, so you can have a bit of a dance. We've had a lot of deep thinking, so maybe it's time to switch it up and have a bit of a boogie and a party. And um, there'll also be our usual PDF of activities. So some games and some crafts and small things that will help you think about the idea of justice maybe a little bit more. But thank you so much for joining me again. You are fabulous, amazing, wonderful. We love you very much and we miss you. Have a great week. Okay. Bye.